The solar system started as a nebula. Scientists theorized that a nebula was hit by a shock wave from a star going supernova. The nebula started to spin. As it spun faster, it collapsed in on itself and starts to spin even faster. As the spinning increase, even more material collects in the center, forming our proto-sun. Once it was large enough, gravity pulled it into a sphere. Then, the proto-sun gathered enough energy to trigger nuclear fusion, and our sun was born. That explosion swept gas and material not used in the creation of our star, our sun, outward. That material started to accrete. The materials such as iron having higher melting points started to gather closest to the sun. These materials started to stick together, making even larger pieces. Eventually, gravity of the object started to pull material forming the terrestrial planets. The material with lower melting points were swept further from the sun past the frost line. There was much more material to create our large Jovian planets. The leftover material that can ca get caught up by the gravitational pull of our planets would be moons. There is also leftover materials in the form of the asteroid belt from our terrestrial planets and leftover material from the Jovian planets in the form of comets.